usually when there's a crime of violence, and we've never had a crime of violence like this, but in any crime of violence, law enforcement, as far as an investigative response, is determining who and why. Who has been determined very quickly. Why will be a much more difficult and longstanding evaluation. And I can say at this point, even at this early point, but also from the medical information as a result of the autopsies. All autopsies have now been completed. We've spoken to the coroners. And uh, I can definitively say that, number one, no one was shot after police arrival, and none of the people who had been shot could have been saved even if the police had walked in the door within the first minute. The injuries were that severe to the individuals that died. He's had those guns in his possession over a decade and um, has not used them in a violent manner as far as we know. We, we are, as I said, the process continuing. We understand he is an avid gun user. He had a gun in California on a permit that was uh, transferred prior to him coming here. And it's our understanding uh, that very recently he's been at a firing range every week.